What's up, movie fans? I got home from seeing Super Troopers 2 today. Uh, taking place present day, I'm not really sure if it's actually 17 years after when the first film takes place. They don't really go into detail about that. But we see our characters have moved on from their previous job. Can they potentially get their jobs back? Or do they have to ingratiate themselves into civilian life once again? All your favorite Broken Lizard guys are back with plenty of references to the first film. And it, after seeing this movie, the question I have, the main question I keep repeating myself is, why did it take so long for another movie? Uh, this movie is hilarious. It has a lot of the humor that you want in this movie. It has references galore. And it has some new things to it in the same vein of humor. It's everything you could want in a Broken Lizard movie. Um, they've had a, a rough patch in their movies. Uh, um, <clears throat> the Solomon movie. The uh, Honestly, like... There's Broken Lizards, uh, Club Dread. That is like, from what I remember, is the is the last excellent movie they did. They've done like three or four excellent movies and a couple duds. So I wonder if it was like the financing to get it done. They just didn't have faith in them anymore. But I'll tell you what, these guys still have it. Seeing them on screen together again uh, in the Super Troopers outfits... Takes me back. Back to 2001. Uh, this movie has some really genuinely laugh out loud moments. It's got heart in it. And uh, I, I appreciate the, the effort, the time that they put into it. Um, there's some silly, wacky, gross out moments in this movie. Just like in the first one. And it's this perfect medium. They don't rehash everything that we loved in the first movie. But there's some little little twinkles of it. It's kind of like, hey, here's this fresh story with them, a continuation. Let's give you some of the greatest hits. But let's give you some new stuff, some fresh. Let's give you that sophomore album kind of deal. Uh, I don't think it could have been any better considering the time we've had to wait. Um, I, I give it a big thumbs up. I think it's worth checking out. If you are a fan of Super Trooper. What's up? As you can see, uh, a little bit of wardrobe and location change. I was doing my review. I finished my review. I went and sat down and realized, oh crap, it cut off early. So I'm adding this to the video in post. Uh, if you're a fan of Super Troopers, totally watch this movie. Um, if you are yearning for these characters to continue and learn more about them, this is the movie for you. I think it's a very good continuation um, of these silly, funny, relatable characters. It's absurd. It's funny. And that's what you need. You need to, Sometimes you just need to sit down and laugh your head off. I laughed out loud multiple times. I smirked and was able to relate, to look back and what I was doing in 2001 and brought me... Brought me some real good joy, which is what I need in my life. So I can't really recommend it enough if you are a fan of R-rated, hard R, funny comedy movies. Uh, I'd love to know what you guys think. If you ever have a recommendation for another movie to watch, to check out, another really funny movie. Maybe it's a horror movie. I don't know. Let me know. What's your favorite Broken Lizard movie ever? As you can tell, I love Super Troopers 1 and 2. And Club Dread. I think that's their bread and butter right there. I would love for them to do a Club Dread too. Spoiler alert. I don't know how many people could return. But yeah. Uh, I'd love to know what you guys think. Please leave a comment. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And recommend some more movies for me to watch. Speaking of which. You can check out my other movie reviews. If you check out my YouTube channel. Thanks a lot for watching. Wish you all the best. Let's talk movies. Go to the movies. Have some fun. Watch a movie. Get some popcorn.